Hey guys, my name is Annabelle and today I'm just going to be kind of giving you an update in order to get on with other videos that I want to make. So recently I went out to California for six days and spent some time with the founder of the Association of Forest Therapy Guides and Programs. If I said that, Forest Therapy Guides and Association of Nature and Forest Therapy Guides and Programs. And that was really awesome getting to know the people that are part of the organization and learning more about it. As most of you guys probably know by now, I am becoming a certified forest therapy guide and I have one week left that felt like a really great trip to just kind of expand my awareness of the organization and forest therapy in general I guess. Um, I was able to do some videoing and other such things. I'll kind of show you guys some of that. And then I also made a music, music-ish video um, with um, the founder, Amos, and Ben, who's a guide in LA. If you're curious, to experience a forest therapy walk, there's a map on the website where you can go to to find the guide nearest to you and then you just can contact them or often their website is listed there and you can see if they have any walks available. So while I was out in California, I also got to play around a little bit with a 360 degree camera and try to make some VR-like um, videos. I wasn't really successful, but it was still really fun and I would love to in the future bring some 360 stuff onto my channel if if possible and I think probably when the the software improves I will do that. So while I was in California I also got to see someone who does have a VR set up um, like an actual VR thing and I have some footage from that. So in other news, someone sent me this and it it was featured in a video with me un unboxing it, unwrapping it. It was from one of the one of my subscribers and um it's a sachet with lavender and other such things in them. Um and I've lost your address if you're out there. Um I want to send a reply and I don't have the address so I'm gonna try here through YouTube and then also through Instagram so I also received an award um, I was in the a Times Union publication women at work and it was uh, 20 young women leaders to watch in the capital region um, so I am somewhere in here cool stuff and um, there's an award ceremony that I got this at and they just kind of shared a little bit about my mission and what I'm trying to accomplish with living life fruitfully as well as sharing that I'd, I'd built this tiny house and um, yeah, it was cool. It's, it's always nice to be, be acknowledged and um, YouTube has been a way for me to kind of share different achievements where I do get that kind of recognition of like wow this is this is really awesome but for most people who aren't in school that that doesn't really happen so much beyond beyond family so that was kind of a, a neat opportunity and 
super grateful I was chosen to um, receive that award. Okay, so I also have a ton of books that I'm reading. It's like four more still coming in the mail and I have all these there you can see in the corner. Those are all ones. Some of them I have started reading but haven't finished. But all those are ones that I need to read. I don't need to, I would like to read. So going back to the forest therapy stuff, I am finishing it in a month and I've dedicated a lot of time to try to make, get the most out of this forest therapy experience. While it's been amazing, it's around probably two hours every other day that I'm dedicating to writing um, and documenting my my experience and different things. As I've showed in other videos, this is my stack of paper. <laughs> yes, it's all written on. I'm sad that it's coming to an end, but I'm also kind of happy because not that it's become an obligation, but it does take a lot of time for me to feel like I'm doing it right and doing it justice. So I'm, I'm gonna have a lot more time for this stuff and another thing which is super exciting that I might as well just say now, um, I'm starting a podcast. I've been wanting to do it for a while and I think having that other outlet of just having the audio would be a really great way for me to not only discuss different topics but also in a few months hopefully I'll start having conversations with different people and yeah just kind of branching out into a different medium. One more thing that I want to, or kind of two more. <laughs> oh gosh. So I have ordered a teardrop trailer meaning a flatbed trailer that is eight feet by six feet long and I will be building one of those cute little campers on it and my reason for doing so, I'll probably share in another video because this is already getting too long. But basically, I want to build something else and I'm not ready to build another tiny house. And there's something a lot more, more practical in some ways about a smaller teardrop trailer. That I will probably start building in March, I would guess. Uh, when the weather kind of gets a little bit warmer, I'll have the trailer before then. but. I ordered it now so that it would force me to do a lot of planning, I hope, so that I can really maximize the space and make it exactly how I want it. That will be an exciting project that obviously I will document on here. And then I've also talked about this writing of a book. I've been toying with the idea of putting something out sooner than that, I guess, four years is about what I imagine it to take. Yeah, just just a thought that I have that I might, there are a lot of different topics that I am interested in and want to share and I feel like writing might be a beneficial place for me to share that. So that might be another possibility. That's really all I have to share. Um, I would like your guys' input on podcast topics. I will be talking about sustainable community and the difference between like RV, tiny house, teardrop, um, maybe books that I'm reading. Yeah, I'm, I'm open to almost anything that you are interested in. Um, I think the first handful of episodes will probably be just me talking and responding to different topics. And then once I feel like I've kind of run out of things that I I really want to talk about, then I'm going to, to hopefully start interviewing some people because I think that would be super beneficial. I also have a poll out on my Instagram that I just put up. Basically, should my podcast be called The Living Life Fruitfully Show or The Living Life Fruitfully Podcast? Um, and as you saw there, the majority of people thought should be called the Living Life Fruitfully Podcast. Um, yeah. So, I think that's it. 
my apparel is still 30% off, code fruitfully30, until the end of November. Um, so like, what, three, three and a half more days? I feel like you just got an insight into the way my, my brain works, and I think that noise was my shed door that just slammed with the wind. Anyway, there's been so much excitement and ideas and things to think about that my brain has been going crazy and I needed to get this video out in order to hopefully put out more videos coming very soon. I, I've attempted to do the vlogmas, I guess starting December 1st until the 25th. I've tried doing it two years in a row, I think, and I've never succeeded. <laughs> So I don't want to really put it out there that I intend to make a video every single day for 25 days, but it would be something cool, and I am thinking about it. And if not every day, I would like to do more regularly, um, put out more stuff. Hello? Hey, dude. I was interrupted there at the end of the video. If you have suggestions or topics or things you want me to talk about, please leave them below. Hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you very soon. Bye!